Okay, everybody ready, guys? Okay, all right. Uh, first practice, our newly named Wayne Dench practice complex, uh, an extra field out there. Feels really good to be back on the field with our players. Um, you know, good idea of where we're at after day one. I mean, we got to get in better shape. Our guys knew that. We actually gave them, you know, the July 4th week off, and then, of course, a week before we start fall camp, like they always do. So we got to get in better shape. And, you know, I just challenged our guys, you know, we got to improve. Uh, from from day uh, one to day two more than any other time. Just expectations. We got a bunch of new players. It was their first rodeo out there with the expectations, the standard and everything. With that, um, I thought our guys responded, um, you know, but it's just the first day. First day, guys, going out there, looking forward to, to practice too and improving questions. Coach, uh, first summer under the new uh, strength coach, Coach Kinsey. Yeah. Uh, what were the main differences you saw from him, and what did you see how that yeah, translated to the Yeah, you field? know, I think more than anything, uh, you know, just uh, the everyday grind and the expectations, the standard. He's done a really good job up to this point as far as accountability, trusting each other, which is real big to team building, which I've said that before, not, not just us, but every team in America with as many new players everybody has. It's going to be about team bonding. It's going to be about – being able to count on each other, trust each other. I told our guys buckle up. This fall camp is going to be a grind. It's going to be very summer, the very first year we were here. Uh, we're going to be very demanding on our players. We were today. Um, we just need to keep improving. And you know, once we get in pads, we're going to be physical and we're going to be getting after it and get that hard nose edge back to us. Gus, you talked a lot about the team bonding, obviously. 44-something new players yeah. being in here. How, what have you seen from these guys over the summer? Where were they able to kind of – get together, maybe do some things together that helps them out and maybe you expect to see this fall. Yeah, yeah, we've done some team bonding uh, with Coach Kensey and accountability. We're in a good spot, but there's nothing like practice. I mean, you go out there and practice, everything's real. Everything's in front of each other. The offense, defense, the coaches, the accountability is really a different deal. Uh, being able to develop that trust. And uh, that's really our focus, trust each other and get our coaches where we can count on them, they can count on each other, and they can count on us. So it was just the first day. Um, like I said, the guy, the new guys, they understand the standard now and the expectations, and we should improve, you know, practice too. Coach, talk about improving and expectations. It's obviously something we talk about every season. But is this year a little different, second year in the Big 12? Is that kind of looming over how much you guys want to improve from last year? How much is that in the conversation yeah, right well, now? We know there is we need to improve on. Um, you know, the, the quality, depth. Uh, the physicality, um, you know, we lost close games, accountability, everything that goes with that. And like I said, the big challenge is we got 40 new guys coming in with the guys we had last year. But uh, just after one day, you know, I'll tell you, we do have quality depth. You can tell the experience. That's probably what stands out to me compared to last year. We got experienced guys running around everywhere, and that's really good. It's just a matter of everybody coming together, everybody understanding the expectation. Schematically, will you implement a similar defense to last year, or are you planning on rolling out something? You know, different? Ted's got his own own uh, own uh, flavor. You know, he's a real aggressive guy, always has been, and uh, you know, he did a lot of the pressure things in the spring, carried over today, and uh, that's his identity. And he does a good good job of mixing things up. Coach, last year you added two centers uh, during fall camp. This year you have you've had all of your centers through spring and fall. What have you noticed the differences between last year and this year at that position? Yeah, you know, I'll be able to tell you more once we get in pads. But, I mean, just more than anything, it sounds simple, but being able to snap it in that square box where a quarterback can actually, uh, or, you know, run the offense without anything extra. You know, we're a read zone team at our core. It's very important to snap. But I think that's the number one thing we've improved on from the past. But, you know, as far as, you know, executing, we'll get on pads, I'll be able to tell you more. Uh, yesterday you announced the captains, Ethan Barr being one of them as a, yeah. a newcomer from the uh, winter. What's he kind of brought to the, to the group and what made him kind of stand yeah. out from a leadership perspective? Yeah, uh, maturity, accountability, he's earned that. He just showed up. He was a team captain at the last place he was at. Doesn't surprise me at all. Um, he's got the respect of offense, defense, special teams, coaches, and he's earned that. He's been very consistent and, you know, his leadership, uh, you know, it'll be really good to have on defense. Gus, how, with so many new guys, how long does it take before you say, I've got what I need for this year or this is going to be a struggle? How long does it take to identify everything? Yeah, you got to go through scrimmages. I mean, there's nothing like when you go out and you put the ball down. They make the coaches go on the sideline and it's theirs. And that's when you learn, you know, we're going to have two big-time quality scrimmages, possibly three. 
but once we get through that, uh, we should have a really good idea of where we're at, uh, and what we have, what we don't have, and really the biggest thing is once you identify, you build around your strengths, and uh, so that's our plan. How difficult is it to just identify early? Like you've got so many new faces, half the team. You know, every practice, I mean, it, it's it, earn everything you get. Doesn't matter if you've been here, I told you guys, if you've been here a long time, you've been playing every day, you earn. You, it's a new day, it's a new team. You're earning the respect. You know, we won six games, we lost seven last year. That wasn't good enough. So it is every day you compete. And, you know, the good thing is we've got some experience, we got some quality depth. And depth in, in, uh, in uh, you know, competing. It brings out the best in everybody. So as a coaching staff, every day, you know, that, that depth chart is, is uh, fluid and, and moving, which I think is really good. You mentioned all the newcomers to, to UCF, but you also mentioned there's a lot of guys with, with playing experience coming, coming in as well. How does that translate, especially as you guys are establishing, establishing your standard at UCF, how does that, how does that translate as, as practice begins? I mean, I think any time you know you have experience and you know what they've had, now they've got to figure out a way to get better. That's what I've been telling these guys. Some of them guys, you know, I don't care if they're this and that and the media picks them, this, this team, that team. No, no, it's about getting better, and that's what – our coaches that's our responsibility so even though we got experience those guys need to get better and now that we got more competition i think that that helps everybody your team looks a little bit different you added a lot of pieces after the spring so for you what is the biggest question that you want to see answered position wise this camp i don't know if there's one position it's more of collective on both sides of the football like i said you know we tried to bring in some playmakers on defense that we've seen on film that they've had the ability to be playmakers. So we, we brought in that, we addressed that. Uh, obviously, we got new quarterbacks, um, you know, just trying to evaluate those guys, build around those strengths, what they can do, what, the, what they're not ready to do, and then, you know, getting prepared for the season. On that note, on the quarterbacks, Ja'Curry Brown was one of those new spring additions. What have you seen from him, the quarterback? He, he wants to be good. I mean, he's learning the offense. It's important to him. That's the number one thing for me. I mean, every day it's a learning experience. and. You got to improve every day. Speaking on quarterbacks, uh, KJ Jefferson, one of the main things this uh, season was to get comfortable, learn the offense. The offense probably catered to him. How have you seen his comfortability in learning the team and just meshing with the, the guys? Well, when he's been successful, it's been a similar offense to what we already do. Um, you know, we learned about in the spring. Fall camp, you know, your installs are all pretty basic the first three, four, five days. And then we're still in the process of identifying his strengths, what he likes, what he doesn't, what he's good at and all that. And uh, we'll start kind of tailoring that to him. We already have a good idea, but, you know, there's nothing like fall camp, especially with the new players we have. Coach, in the spring, it's been pretty clear your target on defense was to try to stop the run. Offensively, the question I would have is, is the biggest challenge, again, for the third year, turning over a patchwork offensive line and getting a group of guys to uh, to kind of mesh and meld once more time? Do you think that's the biggest challenge to build the offense? No, I mean, I don't know. What were we two years ago? Number 15 offense in the country last year, we were either seven or eight. We're going to be in that same category again. Our offensive line, we got experience. We feel good about them. I think we got a little bit of depth right there. You know, my big deal offensively is we were undisciplined crap last year, and that's coaching. We got to do a better job of the penalties. We got to do a better job of protecting the football. We got talent, and but, you know, we, we got to do the things to help win games. I guess you mentioned when you first came in here that you guys were going to – you're going to make this a difficult fall camp like it was the first year you guys got here. What, is that a symptom of what happened from last year? I mean, is, is you guys just – turning things up a little bit yeah. to try to apply a little more pressure to these guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, like I said before, I mean, we, we won six games. I mean, that's not good enough. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to make sure that we do everything we can as coaches to give these guys the best chance of being successful. And the fact that we got the new guys coming in, that they came from different standards, man, different programs, different expectations. We're going to put the ball down, and we're going to flat get after it uh, in, in our scrimmages, and we're going to see who's who and, and who's ready and who's not. Obviously, RJ has been a leader on the team before. What's it like now that he has the captain patch on his chest? Yeah, he's earned it. Uh, he's earned it. You know, he's one of those guys. Everybody's got him up here. He's earned that. But he hadn't flinched. He's actually started working harder. And just that respect. He doesn't say a lot, 
but the respect that he has for his teammates, he, every day he shows up. And if you just lined our guys up and you'd say, you know, be around him for 10 minutes, you wouldn't, you know, you'd think the top guys, you know, they'd have like an ego and look at me, he's completely different. He's just like everybody else. That's really one of his strengths, if not his biggest strength. Going into your fourth season with UCF, where are you different as a head coach? You know, I think for me, it's just getting back to me. Um, you know, I told our team last night, just getting back to my roots of who I am as a coach, the, the team taking on my personality, not a coordinator's personality or somebody else's personality. And that's really the big thing. I mean, I told you before I did self-evaluation. I mean, anytime you lay an egg like we did last year, it starts with a darn head coach. And just self-evaluation, get back to doing, you know, what I know to do, how I know to do it, and really approach each practice and each game with a chip on my shoulder. What's, a, what's the health status of everyone coming into camp? And it was Damari Henderson maybe didn't practice today. Yeah, no, he's the only one that still is a little bit away. You know, he had, had a knee issue. Uh, we will have him back this season. I can't tell you exactly when that is, but everybody else was out there ready to go, so that's always good. And I don't think we've been able to say that any time we've been here so far. All right, thank you, guys.